Hi and welcome back on tonight. I just thought I was going to show you some portraits I've taken over the years. Now these are all shot on film and I know what the films are when I took them back in the day. So one of them goes back to 1985. It was the first ever photograph I took as a child portrait. I was only 18, 17, 18 myself when I actually did this. And then the most of them, I think the most recent one is probably about 1997 so they're quite old i've also got a new way of scanning of the photographs which will be in another video um and i wanted to see just how good they would come up so i've actually taken some where you can see the sprockets of the film as well so we'll look at this one first and this is obviously when i was a young teenager taking this shot of this lad um family friend of mine just asked if I take a photograph of him this is before I started processing and printing myself so this is why it's all like this apparently it got damaged when they were processing it and I just decided to leave it as it was because it had a really it's kind of kind of got a gritty look to it so and that was taken in a really 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 cold Sunday morning and it was just it was miserable but it it's quite a nice look so we're going to go from left to right and I'm going to explain the different types of films I've used and why, you know, why and wet falls about them. So this one is Ben. Ben is now, I think, in his 30s. Uh, yeah, probably 30 something. And um, this was taken on, I believe it was FP4 plus. Around, I'm just trying to think about probably about 1996, perhaps. I'm not sure about the date on this one. And um, we were just in the play park with his mum and I got the shot and it was actually raining. It was quite miserable, but it's got a lovely tone to it. I'm really, I was actually really pleased with it when I took the shot back in the day. This one was taken at a wedding, I think, in 98 in Milton Keynes. I was the wedding photographer and I saw the little girl with a hat and I thought this is really, really, really nice. So I got her to like lean over the top of a chair while I took this photograph. Again, I think this might, I think it's actually all for Delta, this one, uh, 100 or so. This one was taken, this would have been 1991, I think I took this one. And it was, I had a studio in, in the youth club I worked in back then. And this was one of the lads. I know it's XP2 because I looked at the film when I copied when I did the scanning of it, and um, we just got him to pose, and that's what we got with it. It was it's not brilliant. It's quite flat. There's not much contrast in the sense of the background's a bit flat. It was just against a like a I think the wall was green coloured. So and that's what you got with that shot. Don't know who this is at all. I haven't got a clue. I remember um, I was with friends and. She was one of the friends and families that was there, and I took this shot. Now, I know this would have been taken on a Canon EOS 1000FN on Ilford Delta 100 with a 50mm lens and flash. You can see the highlights in her eyes, and you can see how dark it is behind her, and you can see the highlights in the leather jacket here and here as well. So, that was just one I wanted to show you. I'm only, I've only scanned a few these aren't necessarily the best photographs I've got, but they'll give you some idea of what it was like back in the day. I'll just do a quick zoom in on that so you can just see. So that's really not bad for a, for a film shot. Now, this one's really, really soft, and there's a reason for that. This is a... I lost the negative to this, the original actual negative, and I copied the print. And this is what I was left with. So it's not really, really that good. It was taken, the, the actual photograph was really, really stunning. But it was actually taken for a magazine in the early 90s. And it was, it, they actually used this photograph. And it was called Photography Magazine. It was not like practical photography. It was, it was a magazine. And they did an article on all my child portrait work. And I've got probably about two or three photographs left of what, I took for them it's really really just disheartening because i lost a load of them and again this one was in the studio this is we're taken with a yashica mat and i've obviously cropped it down slightly and it was a i'm just trying to think now it would have been it would have been fuji velvia 50 i took this on and again you can still see that there's there's two highlights in the eye from the um the, the flashes it's not the best of scans but it still looks nice. The thing is with the Yashica, they're not as sharp as like the like the Bronicas or the Roliflexes. So, but still, 
really, really quite a nice shop. And I think her name was Emma, I think. And I want to show you this. You can see it's Agvapan Apex 25. Just a shot I did in the studio. And I think this is called, this girl's called Lauren. Friend I work with, her daughter. We um, rented a photo shoot. And this is one of the ones I've actually got left remaining. I loved Agvapan Apex 25, especially in the studio. It gave me some really, I don't know, it was just really, really nice. I just really like using it and loved the skin tone it gave. I'm going to show you a portrait of her a little bit later on. It might be the next shot, actually, that you see. You can see why I actually use it as a, as a, as a portrait. There you go. So this, again, was taken on the same photo shoot. Couldn't have had much depth of feel because her hair is slightly out of focus, but her eyes and mouth and nose are all in focus. But you can see just what lovely skin tones it gave with the, um, with the, with the, lovely high contrast the eyes got depth in the eyes and the and you can see the black background here i th actually don't think it was i don't think it was a completely black background if i remember right it may have been sh a shade of like a dark blue or something and just to show you uh, this was after we did the photographs and this is outside in the garden we we're all sitting around having tea and coffee and that sort of thing i don't drink alcohol um and I wanted to do a scan so you can actually see that it was Agvapan APX25. And I've now managed to resolve the problems I have with softness on the edges of the scans. Now, I'm going to do another video about what I've done that's different. And it's cost a lot to do it. But I'm now getting the scanning results that I always wanted to have in the first place. And again, this one is, a, I actually scanned this a long time ago. And I, I think, I think I'm holding, I think that's my finger there. I think I'm actually holding the slide up. Now, this was a job I did for, uh, it was for some company or other. And um, this is a Fuji slide. Don't know what particular brand of Fuji slide film it is. But the boy in it, this back gate takes back to about 1990, 1991. He was in a Heinz spaghetti commercial back then and he was the, the child that was booked for the photo shoot for me to do we didn't actually use this photograph we used there's a whole load of other ones that we used but there was I think we had three photographers and you know we were tearing I think it was all, all taking all the photographs were taken in Bermondsey in London if anyone knows where he is his name's Joe Peck if anyone knows where Joe is I'd love to know what, he's, what happened to him after after that I kind of lost contact with the family and here's another one of Joe sitting on some stairs. Now this one again, it's a scan. It's it's, it's a scan of a print because the actual uh, again I lost the negative to it. It was I lost almost my entire portfolio at one point, and this was one of the ones I had left uh, as a print. So I just literally scanned it in, and uh, that's what you got. And it actually has a, a better feel to it like this. And we actually found where this was a few months ago. Me and a friend went in search of where we thought this place was and we actually found it. It's actually in Bermondsey near a uh, supermarket. There's a Tesco's and a shopping centre there and like an old 1990s shopping centre. And these ones are a kid called Liam. These were taken consecutively. This was again shot, shot on the Yashica that I had. Again, it's Velvier and um, he wasn't playing ball. He decided he didn't want his photograph taken and he was rubbing his eyes and then there was this one, and then this one. And I just absolutely love this shot. Not one the parents picked, but it was just, I just love it. It's just so, you know, kid with red hair, putting funny faces, that sort of thing. Anyway, that's, I just absolutely adore that photograph. Uh, oh, I thought I'd clean this all up, but I haven't. Um, this has got a lot of things, a lot of uh, problems with it. So I need to re-clean uh, this up and get rid of all the dust marks and stuff. And again, this is Ben, who you saw in the other photograph. I think it was about a year earlier. And this one is of some kids, teenagers from the youth club I worked at. We were just doing a photo shoot session. And they, were, they were learning how to use the cameras and set up the lights and that sort of thing. And I just took that shot there. And then we're back to the end. So that's the one I took, my very first one. So I hope you like looking at these old photographs of child portraits I did back in the 1990s. And uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And don't forget I have a Buy Me A Coffee page if you'd like to buy me a coffee if you've got this far in the video. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video.